Hey everybody, I'm Jennifer. Today in my kitchen we are going to make Dutch babies. Now I know some of you are looking at me like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, are we cooking them? What, what are we doing? Now we are going on a trip to Germany because Dutch babies are just another name for these big, fluffy, gorgeous German pancakes that have tons of nooks and crannies and you make them in this big cake pan and they're just gorgeous and so good with maple syrup and butter and oh my god you guys are going to love them so let's get started for these dutch babies you're going to need a couple eggs a little bit of softened butter all-purpose flour a little bit of sugar and some salt and one third of a cup of milk now the first thing we're going to do is i've got my baby here my blender what i'm going to do is i'm going to add my eggs to my blender i just put them into a measuring cup and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to blend these until they're light yellow in color, and that's going to take about 30 seconds. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. So I've got a sifter here because we're going to sift our flour into our eggs. This also has the sugar and the salt in there. Now that my flour is sifted in, I grabbed a spatula and my butter, so I'm going to add my softened butter in there. You want to make sure it's soft. And then we're also going to pour in our milk. We're just going to blend this until it's totally combined. Perfect. All we have to do now is fill and bake. Now I have a 9 inch cake pan here and I just have it greased with some cooking spray. You could also just use some softened butter. Now we're going to pour in our batter. And don't worry if there's a couple spots of butter, that's going to work itself out in the oven. And now that our batter is all prepared and ready to go, it is time for us to go crazy. Now this is the time for you to do your add-ins. You can do fresh berries, you know, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and any of those fresh summer berries. Some chocolate chips, you can add anything you want in here. I wanted to keep it basic because I wanted to show you guys a very simple recipe on how to make these and then you can spruce them up however you want. But also because shopping day is tomorrow and so the pantry is a little bare right now. <laughs> So, I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees, I'm going to bake this for 20 minutes and then we're going to lower the temperature to 350 degrees and we're going to keep baking it until it's nice and cooked all the way through and golden brown and that's going to be about 7 to 8 minutes. I know it doesn't look like a lot right now but it's going to puff up and it's going to be beautiful and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done. So our Dutch baby is fully baked and I just let it cool for a few minutes in the pan before transferring it to a nice large plate. And now what I've got here is I've got this little sifter that I have with powdered sugar in it. And I'm just going to dust the Dutch baby with the powdered sugar. And now it's time to eat. You guys, I'm way too excited to try this. If you guys had smell -o vision we'd be totally on the same page right now. Oh my goodness, I'm a little too excited. Okay, it's time to cut into it. Have myself a nice healthy sliver. And it might look large, but I'd say that it comfortably serves two people, maybe three if you're not as hungry. Because if you remember, we really didn't add that much to the batter. There's not much to it. So I'm going to drizzle over some warm maple syrup. Dab of softened butter. Maybe another sprinkle of powdered sugar. I think the angels are singing to me right now. Oh my goodness. Mm. It's like a big, warm, fluffy pancake. We've got some crispy spots. Ooh, you hear that crunch? But then in the middle, it's just nice and soft. I mean, look at that. It's almost gone. Look at that. And now, this is one of those breakfasts that I absolutely love because it's something that looks fancy, which I love, but it's also something that goes from the mixing bowl or the blender to the oven in five minutes. So it's perfect if you're having company and you want something really low stress, you can double this or make as many as you want. You can also bake these in like a cast iron skillet or just a regular skillet as long as it's oven safe. And another thing that I love about it is it's so simple. You know, it's just a handful of household pantry items that you're always gonna have on hand and it just makes it something so special. So all of the ingredients and measurements and uh, substitutions are all on my website, engineskitchen.com. Thank you guys for spending time with me and have a great day.